Hello there, my name is Mr. Philip Davy. I'm a consultant vascular and endovascular surgeon at the University Hospital of North Durham. And today we're going to go through an SFA angioplasty, uh, which we're going to do on this mentis simulator. This is a 55 year old claudicant who uh, has had some pre operative imaging already. He's had a diagnostic angiogram, which shows an isolated uh, SFA, mid SFA lesion, which you can see on the left hand screen. And what we're proposing to do today is uh, use the simulator to show you the steps of the procedure for an SFA angioplasty. So if we go to the inventory screen, uh, we have the sheath and the puncture site noted here. So the arrow pointing to the left common femoral artery. We have a five French sheath pre-selected and we also have uh, an injector, contrast injector selected so that we can do our diagnostic runs through that sheath. We've also pre-selected an appropriate wire which would be an 035 uh, angled hydrophilic wire. And if we go to the active screen on the left we can see the tip of the sheath in the top of the middle of the screen and the left common femoral artery. And what we'll do first is just a pure diagnostic run uh, to confirm the, the SFA lesion. So if we press the right hand pedal, which is a DSA uh, run and inject, you can see uh, on the right hand screen the SFA lesion is confirmed and then what we'll do is you'll use the function of a, of a mask uh, in order to assist the angioplasty. So first we will freeze an appropriate image which looks about that. Select that as an image and then take that across. If I now live image, there, there, there should be nothing on the right hand screen, which there isn't. You can see the tip of the sheath again, but we can fade in the mask because we're not going to move the C arm because we can actually see the lesion of interest in that image. And the mask can be brought in. And once I put, depress the pedal, there you can see the lesion. And we can, with screening, we can fade in and out in order to, the, to see the, the lesion, but also ultimately to see the wire and whatever balloon that we're going to uh, use to treat that segment. So we've already pre-selected um, the wire, which we'll now take out and insert through the sheath. And if you look, at the right hand monitor, um, underneath the blood pressure in the red, you can see a 30 degree uh, wire selected. Once that lights up, that will show that it's engaged in the system. It's not currently lit up. And you have to feed a bit of wire in before it does so. And there you can see it's actually engaged. So at this point, you could start screening and expect very shortly to see the wire move down the SFA. So now we're screening. And there's your wire. So advance it without trying to loop the wire. Negotiate the lesion. And always try to keep the wire, the tip of the wire at the bottom of the screen. That's so. And the wire's in a good position now. We'll just double check where we are with the mask. And if you go to a full mask, you won't see your wire. That's quite... So you can see the treatment um, area that we're going to want to treat. So leave the wire in place. In reality, at this point, um, you would you give some heparin. Um, but assuming that is done, we go back to the control panel get tool. We have a wire across the lesion. The next um, device we're going to need is going to be uh, a balloon. We're on an 035 platform, so we select that balloon. And on the preoperative imaging, we've already measured uh, this vessel to be about five millimeters in diameter. That's pretty typical for an SFA. It's a short, short lesion, so the shortest balloon that we can actually pick here is a 40 millimeter length, so we select that. You can see that's pre-selected and it features up on the right hand uh, screen also. 
So we take this catheter, which will represent the balloon. And again, as described for the wire, you often have to put the catheter in a fair way before the actual system will um, recognize. the um, device as a balloon. Well, let's come back a touch there. It's not ideal. So. so fix your wire. Still hasn't recognized the balloon. There it has now. Just take the mask, a little bit of mask off, um, so we can see the balloon coming down. And there you see, just engaging down the SFA. And position the two markers at each end of the balloon, so the midpoint of the balloon should be in the middle of the disease, so that looks about, about right. What I always do is just put the wire a little bit more in, as such. Just bring that balloon back. Okay, and once we're in that, I would tend to take the mask right off. We know we're in the right position. And just screen, inflating the balloon. And we know that the pressures for this balloon are between 8 and 10 atoms. Slowly getting there. Balloon's beginning to inflate now. In reality, I would tend to leave this up for between 20 and 30 seconds. Okay. Just check your balloon's deflated before you withdraw it. Keep the wire across the lesion. And Take the balloon out to disengage from the system, which it is there where it, the light fades. And now we'll just do a check angiogram just to make sure that the, the, this, the procedure has been successful. So again, this is just a sheathogram. So right hand pel DSA run. And that looks like it's been a successful result.